All right. Uh, so last time we were uh, in the last video, we looked at voltage divider, and uh, now let's talk about current division. And at the end of that last video, we're to, uh, we were looking at a circuit scenario like this, where we had two resistors, but they were in parallel this time. So you can't use a voltage divider in this kind of scenario. A current is coming into this node A. Let's say I'll call the top node A. That current then gets divided because just like how water comes in and a hose has a Y junction, imagine a water coming in here and it sees a pipe this way and a pipe this way. So some pipe current, water will go this way, the other water will go uh, through R2, so R1 and R2. So current is going to divide between R1 and R2, and we want to find out how is that division, how much current goes through R1, how much current goes through R2. Again, like every other problem, we can figure this out quickly using Ohm's law and all that kind of stuff. But what we want to do is derive an expression for the current uh, divider. So uh, let's get started. So current comes into node A, so I, any device has I1 plus I2, because Kirchhoff's current law says any current that coming into a junction is equal to the sum of the current leaving that junction. So current coming into A is uh, I, and leaving A is I1 and I2. Well, uh, let's see. So what is uh, I1? Right, I1 is essentially the voltage across AB. So VAB uh, divided by R1. I V equals, so basically get this from V equals IR. Okay, so I is equal to V over R. That's, that's where I got this from, VAB divided by R1. Uh, what is voltage I2? Well, I2 is, uh, sorry, current I2. I2 is basically also VAB. Well, why is it VAB? Because resistor R2 is also between nodes A and B, right? Uh, and that's uh, essentially R2 right there. Okay. So that's what we have. Well, all right. Uh, I have I. Okay. So now if I take uh, VAB out, out, uh, I basically have 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, right, and that's the current, right, right, that's what I have, okay, now we want to find out, well, so, well, sorry, so let me write down VAB is equal to 1 over 1 R1 plus 1 over R2 times I, right? So all I'm doing is rearranging these terms. I equals V times something in this parentheses. So V is equal to I divided by that something, right? So that's all I've done. So let's keep this in mind, okay? Now let's go and look at, let's say I wanted to find out what is the current I1. So I want to find out what is I1. Well, I1 is VAB divided by R1. Well, we just found out what uh, VAB was. So VAB is essentially 1 divided by 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, right, times I, okay? VAB, that's what this is. And then whole thing uh, divided by R1, so essentially we have 1 over, uh, sorry, one, we have 1 over R1 uh, right there. So the current I1 can be given as 1 over R1 divided by 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 times the total current coming in, right? So in the voltage divider, we saw that the voltage gets divided proportionally based on the value of the resistance. In the case of the current divider, the current gets divided proportionally also based on the values of the uh, of the resistance, but the path with the least resistance gets more current. In other words, that's why we have these reciprocals right here. In this uh, formula right here, I see different reciprocals. The reciprocal right there for I1. Okay. Uh, now, people, when there are only two resistors in Cs, I can simplify this actually a little better. Uh, which looks a little nicer. So a 1 over R1 divided by, uh, if I simplify the 
a bottom part I get R2 plus R1 uh, divided by R1 times R2 times I uh, all of this so if I bring this back to the top I get R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times I right so in most books or uh, online examples that you see you'll find that the current division is written as this so if I want to find the current of R1 I look at what the value of R2 is and divide that by the sum of all resistance R1 plus R2 right? this works just fine for two resistors but when you have three resistors or four resistors in parallel this formula does not work right but this original formula from where we started essentially the idea is that the current when it comes in more current goes to the one that has least amount of resistance okay so let's say here's three so let's do a quick example here all right, I'm going to choose, uh, so, let's say this was 3 amps, right? Uh, and let's say this was 1 amp, and this was 2 amps, oh, I'm sorry, 1 ohm, and this was 2 ohm resistor, okay? So 3 amp current is coming into this junction, so that's 3 amp coming in. And the question is, how much current goes through R1, how much current goes through R2? Well, current likes to move through path of least resistance, so current will still divide between R1 and R2, but since this is one ohm, which is less than this, more current should go through here than here, okay? Let's see using the current divider formula if that's what we get. So uh, current divider basically says, in this case, I wanna find out, let's say, what's I1, okay? I1 is one over R1, so one over one, divided by one over one plus one over R2, which is one over two, times the total current three, right? So this is a simple uh, calculation. So one over one is one on the top. The bottom is one plus one half. So three over two, over two, over two times three, right? Uh, so three over two is one and a half. So one divided by one, so it basically becomes here, two over three times three, uh, so two amps. So we get, 2 amps in I1. Okay, we get 2 amps in I1. Now let's see how much current goes through resistor R2. Well, for R2, I2 is given by 1 over R2. So 1 over R2, which is 1 half. 1 over 2, 1 over R2. Uh, 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2. So the sum of the reciprocals of the resistance times the 3 amps. So, well, that should be 1 half plus one half plus one plus one half is three halves times three so this is basically one third of three amps which is one amp well this kind of makes sense because two amps is flowing through i1 so Kirchhoff's current law says three amp gets divided between this and this so two amp went this way and r1 that means the remaining if two amps went through r1 then the remaining one amp must go through r2 so that's what we found that r2 is in fact one amps right so current division basically says that if i have resistors in parallel the current divides in proportion to the reciprocal of the resistance right so that's your classic uh, current divider so let's let me just draw a larger circuit let's say i had current coming in okay let me call that i of x coming in and instead of two uh, resistance, I had three resistance, like this, okay, let me call this RA, RB, and RC, and what I was interested in finding is what is the current IB, okay, if I had a problem like this, I can apply again Kirchhoff's current law, Volta's law, Ohm's law, and eventually I'll get the answer, but a quick glance at this kind of problem, I see the three resistors are in parallel, uh, the total current going into this node is Ix. So I want to find out how that Ix divides so that I can get Ib. And the current divider basically says the current that's going through resistor Rb is equal to 1 over the reciprocal of Rb, 1 over the value of Rb, so that's the reciprocal, divided by the reciprocal sums. times the total current going to the node uh, up from which it's being divided. So this is essentially 
current division.